my name is Katerina Malasidou. I play at Poker Stars under the screen name Katerina289, and I'm a member of Poker Stars Team Online. I like games overall, so poker is another game which by default makes it interesting for me. Right now I'm playing the Hyper Turbo Sit and Goes from $18 up to $74. In those tournaments there are very small edges. The good player from the great player will have a very small difference. So I think it's very interesting to try and find those tiny, tiny little things that make such a big difference. Yeah, that was important. You got it? Yeah. Cool. I'm in Athens visiting my parents and we are in the room where I grew up in. You can see there I have my different collections. Up there I have my comic magazines. This is my improvised way of storing my magic cards. Here I have folders with the rare magic cards. They have their own special place because they're special. I started playing Magic the Gathering in 2004. I used to go to a lot of tournaments and in one of them I met my boyfriend Andre Quimbra. In the beginning we used to talk a lot about uh, Magic the Gathering and nowadays it's mostly about poker, we don't talk about magic as often, but there's definitely some game that we always talk about. I discovered poker through Andre, he's the one that taught me how to play the game. Ole! He's the one that I owe my poker career to. When I started teaching Katerina, I thought that uh, she could make some money playing poker. Not necessarily that she could get to reach or play the nosebleeds, but I thought that she could make more than she was making at her accounting job. It was a bit difficult because it's a thin line between boyfriend and coach. There were definitely... She never several. watched the karate kid and understand the sensei-student relationship, so it was, it was difficult. That's what he keeps saying, but I have actually watched the movie and but you didn't I get just it. don't... I got it, it's just that you, you are not Mr. Miyaki. Before starting playing, I thought that the most difficult part would be to actually learn the game and have a strategy and study it. But actually, no, for me, at least the most difficult part is the emotional aspect. It's difficult when you're losing, obviously, because apart from losing money, which is bad, you start doubting yourself and maybe feel like, okay, I don't have an edge over my opponents anymore. Maybe they're better than me. In the beginning, I would spend one week or a whole month without playing poker because I was feeling devastated for having a really bad day. Recently, I had my worst day ever. I lost 108 buy-ins, which is a lot, and it was kind of hard to deal with. One of the things that helps me deal with the emotional swings of poker is dancing. When you have negative feelings accumulating, you feel the tension in your body, so it's good to just go out and jump around even, and it, it's something that makes me feel better and more positive. When I'm dancing, it's like nothing else exists. It's just me, the music, and the people I'm dancing with, basically. It's something that helps me disconnect. When it comes to life in general, I try to not make any very big plans because life always has a way of turning things around. One day I was a French teacher here in Athens and then the next thing I know I'm living in Lisbon and my occupation is a poker player. So I try to take each day as it comes and not make any huge plans for the future.